Hello friends, I'm Dashin Kumar Dash. Once more, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Shadow Bites. First of all, thanks a lot for such a good response in our previous video. Although it didn't reach even the 50% of the target of 50 likes, but still happy to see that it has reached over 980 views in just 11 days from uploading the video. So thanks for it. Now coming back to this video topic, in this video I am going to show you how to install dual fan aluminium alloy armor metal case on Raspberry Pi 4B with proper step by step guide so without any further delay, let's start the video. Now before starting the installation tutorial, let's look at the box content at first. So this is the box of Raspberry Pi 4B 4GB RAM variant and this is the box for dual fan aluminium alloy metal case for Raspberry Pi 4B. First of all, let me show one thing. Both of these things I have bought from Amazon. So best buy link to buy these products will be given in the description below from where you can buy. I have even bought this uh, micro HDMI to HDMI cable from Amazon only. Even you can buy micro SD card from Amazon. So yeah, let's start opening the box. Let's open the Raspberry Pi 4B box first. This is the box for Raspberry Pi 4B. Opening the box, you will get this Raspberry Pi 4B 4GB RAM variant. Uh, how can you see the RAM variant anyways? Now, let's unbox the dual fan aluminium alloy armor metal case for this Raspberry Pi. This is the dual fan case that I am talking about. And I am going to show you the installation guide. So, I am... So, these are the box contains first you will get a packet a thermocol type packet then this you can see let's keep the box aside and now let's look at the those box contents so here you will get some oh by the way let's keep this thing also aside So here you will get the get some screws to four thermal thermal tape. So now it's time to put all these to assemble all these so that the final product should look something like uh, this. Anyways, let's start tightening all the screws. Let me zoom in a little bit. Hopefully you can have a clear view of what I am doing. This is a uh, screwdriver sort of thing. Okay. Let's put the screws. Okay, so I have tightened up the fan with this case. Now it's time to tighten up this case. But before tightening it, we need to put this thermal tape here so that it can properly attach it with this thing. You can see so that this thing properly set on processor. It will have something like this. Hmm. It will have something like this. Okay. For better understanding, you can see this picture right here. You can pause the video and see this. I am giving you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. You can pause it, take a screenshot, and do this thing. Anyways, now let's continue. First of all, let's put the thermal tape here. You have to look everything very very carefully otherwise if you do a small mistake then the installation will be wrong. So now let's put it together here. Fine. Yeah. Fine. As you can see it properly. Heat sink. Properly fits with the processor. 
so now it's time to screw this up You have to look everything very very carefully for screwing up. The video is going to be slightly longer but you should have to properly say so that you don't do any mistake while installing the case here. Okay? So yeah, Raspberry Pi installation is almost complete. Now it's time to properly plug in the fan. The red wire should be here and the black wire should be here. So let me keep put it. Uh, this is the red wire. Red wire, black wire. Okay, so the installation is almost complete. Now it's time to turn on the Raspberry Pi. But for that, now let's put the memory card. Uh, most probably the memory card slot. Now let me show you one thing. You need to use at least this 18 watt ERD quick charge. Auto ID quick charger. This is a good charger. Although the requirements is 15.3 watt with 5 volt 3 amp current, 5 volt voltage and 3 ampere current, and 15.3 watt. But the official Raspberry Pi charger is around 750 to 800 rupees, which is quite costly. And this charger is somewhere between 250 to 200 to 250 rupees, which is much cheaper. And this is a good charger as far as I know hopefully it will not show any under voltage error or something like this although this is 18 watt charger but it will the wattage will power delivery will be up to the requirements means if this system reads 15.3 watt then it will draw 15.3 watt only not 18 watt in that case anyways you can get this charger in the local market or you can buy it from Amazon like these products I have bright, bought it from Amazon even Flipkart is also fine anyways I mean you can buy it online also by the way by default this will be normal uh, micro USB cable I have bought these type C cable as I have bought it from local market so they have exchanged the type C normal micro USB cable with type C cable this thing anyways I am talking too much let's see Hopefully it will not show any damage. I mean time to connect the charger. I'm connecting the charger. You can see. No, 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 no. Don't do this charger is connected. Let's look at the first stage and see if the fan turns on or not. Yes, you can see the fan is moving. Okay, everything works fine, I think. Now let's quickly do the keyboard and mouse setup. As I told you in the previous video, using Raspberry Pi 4, you don't need any USB hub or something like that because it's already having four USB ports. Still, if you need Need more then you can definitely use USB hub by all but I won't recommend you to use more USB hub because since it's a small device so anyways I'm using keyboard mouse keyboard zoom in this is I think mouse yes this is keyboard okay so everything is going fine I think yes you can attach USB webcam also even in fact I will also attach it attach the USB webcam as well because I will do the face recognition based attendance monitoring project here also. Okay. Oh, I have forgot one thing. I am extremely sorry. This is the micro HDMI to HDMI cable. I think this case will fit even on Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. You can try it on Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, I think. But proper testing is necessary. So I won't recommend you blindly. For Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, they are wear some this type of fan case. But I don't know if it's still available for Raspberry Pi 3B 
plus because it's difficult to get a Raspberry Pi 3B plus on today's. You need to use either the weakest Raspberry Pi zero W or straight up use Raspberry Pi. Anyways, this is by the way this is the micro USB not micro USB extremely sorry micro HDMI port. It has dual micro HDMI port. I don't know why Raspberry Pi 4 has dual micro HDMI instead. It should give Gale HDMI port. It would have been easier like Raspberry Pi 3B plus. Anyways, now it's time to use the capture card this is the capture card that i'm going to use link to buy this capture card will be given in the description below i have bought this capture card from now uh, anyways best buy links will be given in the description below laptop usb let me configure it properly now it's time to turn on the raspberry pi 4b you can see it's showing a good signal both the leds are turned on and the fan is moving hopefully with something here oh by the way i have forgot to set up the keyboard in front of us i'm extremely sorry why it's not enough anything i don't know from capture card uh, i have to wait for a few minutes okay it was all my mistake for which was not let me say one thing very clearly if you set up it then don't and activate it then while doing all these things make sure in the property section first of all you will uh, select the resolution fps type to device default otherwise it, you will screen will not be shown <laughs> anyways now then okay that's if i get stop let me zoom in let me zoom in more fine yeah fast is because it's raspberry pi 4 not the zero w that i used in my previous video need the password okay, okay. hopefully chromium will go fine you need to start off it by the way it didn't show any sort of errors or something like that because the adapter is absolutely fine Ooh. yeah adapter is absolutely fine okay so as a reply os gets up it will connect to my wi-fi far as i know that has the dual band wi-fi of oh, oh. showing low voltage warning this will destroy your raspberry pi if you use some wrong power for the power info i think you need to use official raspberry pi power supply because without official raspberry pi power supply it will be risky task as you can see it's showing low voltage warning that means this power supply not enough for powering up raspberry pi use my phone charger hopefully good let me try to use my phone charger to switch it off i mean shut it down you can't use the erd charger for raspberry pi but let's see if some 25 watt charger for s 5 or not i mean s 5 4 you know it was fine there is lots of under voltage detected right now yeah i think the charger is working absolutely fine the chromium will browse hopefully the chromium will not crash that's the 4 b surprisingly it seems my oh, samsung's 25 watt charger is better than this erd charger for this s 5 zero w <coughs> <coughs> this is my previous video that I was talking about. Video is only playable, although you can't hear sound because I haven't enabled any sort of sound or something like that. Definitely usable. Playback is absolute mood. By the way, my Samsung 25 watt adapter is costlier than Raspberry Pi's official adapter. So it's better you if you are if you are having Samsung's new smartphone which is having 25 watt charger support and you are having Samsung 25 watt charger then definitely you can use it otherwise use raspberry pi 4 official charger it price is around uh, 750 to 800 rupees that i have already told you so and if you are using want to use this samsung 25 watt charger then its price is 1100 rupees which means 1100 rupees hope you understand why i am saying that you should use raspberry pi official charger power requirement for this raspberry pi 4 is quite high but doing this small thing you can and do many hello friends uh, let me show one very important thing the power adapter requirement for the raspberry pi 4b that i have said just now is slightly misleading or better to say misleading because what i said is uh, not uh, the information is not 100 percent correct actually you can use that very adapter that i have shown in the beginning the 18 watt erd auto id adapter but you need to make sure that you are using a proper cable for my recommendation i will say that you use type a to type c erd data cable for transferring the power from your power adapter to raspberry pi 4b because using this very using the same power adapter you see now i am not facing any issues like uh, under voltage ejected or something like that i haven't noticed it 
at the beginning but after making the whole video then i have noticed so that's why you are seeing this video in an odd position because i have noticed it just now and i thought that before uploading the video on youtube i should add this part also so that you can understand that what's the news power requirement for your Raspberry Pi 4 B that 18 watt auto ID power adapter is absolutely perfect for your Raspberry Pi 4 B you just make need to make sure that you are using a proper uh, power cable pop I mean proper type A to type C power cable then everything will work absolutely fine this was the information I was about to share now let's continue the video anyways that's it thanks for watching so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial and find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button like target is only 50 please help us to complete our target and if you haven't subscribed our channel then please subscribe it and tap the bell icon beside it and on the bell icon select all to watch our latest programming or any engineer other engineering project videos before anyone else so once again thanks for watching see you soon in our next video until then stay happy stay safe and goodbye